time for something a little bit different. Okay, here I have the Retro PC, or Retro FC, Retro Famicom, that I got as a birthday present. And this is kind of wild that I landed this, uh, you know, thanks to Norman Renee. I, it's kind of wild that I landed this because I was just watching, um, I think it was Rerez's videos on these. Mine looks like an even more different variant. As you can see, it's got that very 90s sup painted on the front. Uh, no, I guess this was about the time they caught on to people sticking micro SD cards in these things and dropping them in. Anyway, what is this? But it's a miniature Famicom clone built into kind of a compact Game Boy type design. Um, as you can see here in back, we have a old school 600 milliamp uh, lithium ion battery pack for your uh, cell phones. If you pull it out, the thing barely weighs anything, which is kind of awesome. Buttons actually have really good response. And it's uh, got controls. You got B and your A button there, and then you have Turbo B and A. This is your reset button. Start, select. Regular old Nintendo gamepad. Or here's your volume roller, which this thing gets surprisingly loud. Um, up here you got USB-C port for charging. You have a 1 8 inch phono jack for plugging into your television set and actually playing uh, the games through it. And you got a power switch, which turns it on. As you can see right off the bat, we have the menu that allows you to choose between Chinese and English. <laughs> I love the new music. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go down here to English. We're going to look at the menu. And once you start looking at this, now I wanted to give my own unique slant on um, these Chinese multi-cart slash fama clones with games built in sort of thing. People love to go off on these things these days, but honestly, me, I found them actually quite handy. Um, way, way back, like 2001, when I started the Creeping Network, I had a uh, 486DX4100 that ran Nesticle really well. And I went and downloaded some multi-cart ROM called Contra 425 or something crazy like that. Back then, um, these Famicom-only releases and stuff which were games that were only released in Japan, and some of these were only released in China, um, you know, they weren't very well known at the time, and so you, it was kind of like a, discovering a whole new world of games. And I'm kind of here just to show this thing off. This is pretty cool. The screen's nice and bright. It's very, 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 very good uh, viewing angle. Um, it, it has its quirks. I mean, let's check out Super Mario here, Super Mario Brothers. Oh yeah, you go through the menu by using B to go back and A to go forward. It says 400 games in it. And we're looking through the list here for number one. You have Super Mario Brothers. I know I've already played it. Mario 14. Uh, we'll look at some of these more esoteric, bizarre titles in here. Bit Mario 3, which is actually the Famicom release of Mario 3. And I'll tell you why when we play that real quick. Dr. Mario. Mario Brothers, probably original. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 1, Turtles 4, Contra 1, Contra Force, Contra 7. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and play a few on the screen, and then we'll use this little port, and you get to see them on the TV. So this is Super Mario Brothers. If you haven't seen this game before, you definitely are not into gaming. <laughs> I'm going to turn off my uh, new desk lamp here, just so you can kind of see it. Um, when we look real close, as you can see, the uh, graphical artifacts, there's a little bit of graphical artifacting and the palette's a little off, but it's actually all right. Screen's nice and bright, as we can see here. And already I can see that's running a little fast, at least the music is. But that's what I liked about these system, little systems, because I like stuff like this. Here we have Super Mario Brothers. Sort of an over my shoulder view you get in here. So, well, the sounds are off, the gameplay is excellent, so this is kind of cool. 
uh, if you look close, I mean, we can watch closely on camera. And then to reset, you just hit this little middle button here. And of course, every time you reset, it goes back to English. My variant is different, though, from the one that our Reraz had and some of the other videos I've seen. But yeah, it's a handy dandy little unit. I mean, let's look at some more games on here. Uh, Mario 14, this is one that I've seen. Mario 14, this is one that I've seen around, but I haven't actually played. So you're like, what the heck? Uh, Japanese girls looking at a sheet of paper. What's that? It, it looks like Sonic and uh, the Grim Reaper, or Sonic and uh, Gargamel. I don't know. Kid throws a paper airplane, another kid receives it. <laughs> and suddenly now you're goth bamboo pole Mario. <laughs> That's why I like this stuff. Because these are games that we didn't get in the United States, so you don't really know what you're seeing. It looks like a Mario game, kind of, but eh. You basically keep hitting Koopa Troopas with that stuff, and... That's kind of cool. It's a bit like the Scrooge McDuck mechanic from DuckTales, which I oddly have never played. Alright, let's look at some more games on here. This is this is just kind of a neato little thing. But yeah, like I said, I used to discover these uh, little games on like weird ROM packages you'd find on the internet. And it was just kind of neato, you know? Um, other things you could kind of find on here, I mean, there's, you know, you have your standard other variant Mario's. Um, you have Russian Attack, Chippendale, Chippendale 3, there was never, I always look for the ones like this that say like Chippendale 3 or Super Mario Brothers 8, you know? <laughs> the... Uh, this doesn't, sounds more like a Smokey and the Bandit game starting up. Uh, Wow. Gadget Hack Wrench is really up their game. What the? Oh, oh, oh. what the? Mm. What am I fighting wisps from Ultima? <laughs> This is something like Cabal or Two Tankham for the Atari, but with better graphics, of course. Man. The tanks? Man, Chip and Dale are getting hardcore nowadays. What was that, Noctorok? Jeez. Helicopter? <laughs> what, are, what are we doing? Rescuing Monty? We end up in like uh, some kind of black market cheese cult or something? Or what was it, that episode? The, the Cult of Coca-Cola? <laughs> yeah, they had a cult in the cartoon for Chippendale Rescue Rangers. It involved, like, 
cola beverage being sprayed everywhere. See, this is this is what I like for this thing. It's just finding out what weird games we got on here. Bird Week? That sounds like a magazine name. Bird Week. This week on Bird Week, we're looking at Cardinals. <laughs> Bird Week. What? <laughs> I don't have any weapons or armor, and I am indeed a cardinal. What is this, the Young Chronicles of Mordecai? Jeez. What, th what did I just do now? Did I just grab a B? Oh, I see. Did I give them to the kids? Oh, that's how it works. You, like, grab these little... Ah, oh, that's how it works. Aside from the music, this is actually... <laughs> oh, I have to look out for the blackbird, of course. That's just plain wrong. Wah. No. This is interesting. Yeah. Go away. I gotta feed my numerous families. And the AI is really laid back in this game. Uh, okay. Oh, so like I feed the birds and they fly away. <laughs> oh, I see. So you feed all the birds and then you... They're not hungry. I digress. Oh, no, you're not getting me. What the... Anyway... Let's go plug this in on the TV and see what happens. All right, now we're plugged into the Mitsubishi and the buzzy Mitsubishi at that. Let's go ahead and play this on here and see how it looks. Of course, it's in mono because I'm going to play some more games here. Find more interesting names. 90 Tank. Uh, what is this? Oh, I like this one. Tank A 1990. And it's like a construction mode. Hmm. I'm always intrigued by games with construction modes. Oh, I played this. It's like one player version of combat. Game over. <laughs> yeah, this one's really hard. 900 points. Total one. <laughs> Tank 1990. Let's go on to another one. All right, let's see here. So you're not watching the angry video game nerd here, so. Bomb Sweeper? I'm guessing that's Minesweeper? Nope. What the heck? What am I, like, Mr. Frog and Watch or something? What? Okay, what am I doing here now? Uh, bleep, 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 bleep. A P model make the music. <laughs> I should sample that. <laughs> I 
National color uh, Trans Am, uh, as they call it, Rowdy Cassette, <laughs> Jack, and Pop, Brush Roller. Oh. Brush Roller? This is like that Atari game where you like build a structure and the guy runs around. Oh, gotta watch it with my plug. Let's play. Oh, uh, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it, 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 if you're insinuating something, I don't... What? <laughs> What's going on here? Hmm. Am I even doing anything? I think this is the one you just put you just put on for your kids, and they just watch it and listen to the music. I mean, what, what's going on here? We got a cat, a tree, a car, some mountaintop thing, another cat. What, what, Riff, what are you doing in the video game? <laughs> oh, now I got control over this whole mess. Uh oh. Oh, I get it now. There you go. So you're basically painting the floors here. Or I guess I'd like to think staining the floors. It's like Pac Man, but. Kind of with a mind of its own, control-wise, I must say. Uh... <laughs> they did give me a copious amount of lives. I have, like, eight lives? What the... <laughs> that spoke too soon. What is that, the Peanut Man? Oh, I get some points for that guy. Okay. Oh, come on. What does he do? Like, roam through my paint job? Jeez. Stop ruining my work. <laughs> Ooh. And what are these guys? Like, angry paintbrushes or some shit? Gotta get him away from that. Aladdin 3. This one is actually worth me talking about because I've played this game before on other collections such as this, and I actually kind of like it. I mean, we're like shooting birds and stuff. Very... I mean, what, what are you? You're like a... Hey now, that's uh, th th this is getting too chaotic. <laughs> yeah, you have like you're getting attacked by like witches and stuff. I love the music though. Old Dig Dug, Chack and Pop. That was one I wanted to try. This looks like one of those arcade games, just the random forgotten arcade game that you would, you know, see in an 80s arcade. And it looks like a Back to the Future 2 and 3 mini game. What? <laughs> what the? Okay, what am I doing here now? So I'm supposed to grab this little heart, I think. Oh, I just blew myself up. <laughs> I 
those little guys can swim. What is this, like, that critter from... Uh-oh, what? Oh, I just farted on a whale and killed him. This kind of reminds me of those goofy DOS games you find on, like, a single floppy diskette, you know? Or, like, like that dinosaur game I got back way back in the lithium days. That's one I should put on the channel. So, better get out of here. Ooh, I might be able to do something here now. Or not. <laughs> Three, door, 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 door. Oh, let's see what door, door is. And so we got like a mushroom guy, um, some kind of like onion squid thing, and I don't know what's up with the egg beater, um, or the pea stain. Anyway. <clears throat> like I said, I always like these goofy foreign NES Famicom titles. Door door? Uh oh. Oh. Wow, that was a dramatic death scene. Okay. Oh, that's like the tutorial game. Come on, little man. Move! Why are you putting candy on screen? Okay, I think I figured this out now. You're supposed to trap the enemies behind the doors. Oh my god. And that's how you play Door Door. Magic Jewelry. What is this? <laughs> Same. What? Okay, I think I've got an idea what I could do with this. It's a puzzle game. Kind of reminds me of Acid Drop for the Atari 2600. <laughs> oh, we got three there. No, oh, we got a Tetris I there. I have to wonder if some of these are like original games or. Let's see what happens when I lose. Hey, it's not like Tet. Ooh! Wow! NES games. There you go. Nuts. I'm pretty sure it's milk and honey. Mustis and Naitu. Okay, we're gonna play those. Oh, this is muscle. It, uh, what is this? Homestar Runner boxing? Oh, come on. Aha. Okay. Uh 
All right. <laughs> I'm fighting a knight. This is just bizarre. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Hey, that's kind of cool. You can, like, bounce off the... What does it do? Give him, like, superpowers or something? I've learned with most fighting games, just mash the buttons like like you're in the Nintendo game. In the Nintendo commercials from the 80s and it works. Yeah, it turns the screen off when you play it on a TV. I'm gonna play My Two. What is this? I don't know, it's like... Are we playing Go? I have no idea what I'm doing here. Is this the game that was gave namesake to the name Atari? What? I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just playing it like chess. I will learn my way through this. <laughs> so, I don't know. Someone can tell me. I don't know. I, I do think this could be quite fun once I figure it out. Weon. Sky Destroyer. Eh, we'll play Nibbles. Hey, impressive font for an NES game. Oh, this is that snake game that I used to have on my Nokia 1100 phone back in like 2005. This kind of remind. This is another one of those games that kind of reminds me of my old games you find on like random floppy disks that nobody's ever heard of before. Uh, this gamepad just isn't up to it though for this game. You have to get a pretty good swing wide on it and then get it. I mean, the whole challenge of this game shouldn't be trying to get it to Apple. It should be trying not to run into your tail, but. It has 400 games, but I know somewhere about like halfway through it just repeats a bunch of them. It's normal for these. We'll play S uh, Sky Destroyer doesn't sound that interesting. Space E.T. Um, okay, I never knew that... It's like the happiest version of Space Invaders ever created. <laughs> I have to wonder, are some of these actual, like, cartridges from China or Japan or anywhere else in the world, or are these, like, oh, cool, you can shoot the missiles just like you can the 2600 version. <sighs> Warehouse Boy? Okay, I'm curious what... What? Okay, this is... Whoever programmed this... 1997? Sheesh. Okay, so what am I doing now? Orpa Beak Top? What? I'm having fun with this stuff. Um... Okay, so I'm a little man that runs around a warehouse and, like, solves puzzles, I guess? Oh, I'm supposed to, like... Oh, I see. This is one of those games, kind of like, um... Okay. Oh, it resets the puzzle if you screw it up. That's kind of amazing. Well, I'm going to have to do something here. Alright, I'll just move this guy over here, I guess. 
This one, this is one of those little crazy. I've never seen this game before. I gotta wonder if they made some originals here. I wonder if some of these games are originals because I've noticed some of them use like the same music and stuff. Jeez, get this man a, a forklift or a loader or something. Poor guy. He's shoving all these giant boxes. I mean, what, what, what are in these boxes? Old CRT TV sets? Refrigerators? Are these the boxes the um, little uh, Retro FC came in? So I'm doing something right here, I think, by... Uh-oh. Well, I messed something up here. This is like the game you hand to your three-year-old. And for that incomplete snooze fest, let's go ahead and find another interesting old game to play here. Oh, they have Arkanoid, B-Wings, Bad Mintington. <laughs> Okosuka War. Okay, now we're really getting into the deep stuff. Badminton. Uh, no, we're going to. Ultron. Oh, this has some kind of impressive graphics for N Nintendo. Oh, it's kind of like R-Type, except I'm like shooting at triangles. Man. Man, the throttle on this is just like insane. I'm shooting at kidney stones. This has four controls on it. What it? Wait, what just happened there? It's kind of like Defender. Oh, I see how it works. If you hit B and go, ooh. I just went in a hyperspace. So if you hit B and turn, you can go in the other direction. You'd think they would make it... Strange Defender clone. This is how I relax, playing obscure video games that nobody's ever heard of. Uh, let's see here. Arkanoid... Astro Robo Saga... Robo Sasha? Whoa, what? Oh, we're, we're... It's weird. Oh, Saza. Zaza Gabor? That was kind of awesome. I think I've seen this before, but I can't remember what it was originally called or what it... It's like balloon fight. Huh. What? I'm shooting at cows? What is this madness? <laughs> yeah, what the, the... I'm fighting flying scissors now? Whoa! <laughs> Not doing too bad, considering the fact that I don't...
I don't know what that was about. Let's play Destroy. Destroy one. Mario? That is not Mario. I have to beat. That is not Mario. <laughs> what is this, like Mario and Tim the Toolman Taylor? What am I, Al Borland? smack that guy with my hammer. I like Wrecking Crew, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> and is this Dragon Warrior? No. Oh, it's, uh... Okay. It's like a more exciting version of uh, Nipper or Zippy or whatever the heck that game was called. <laughs> okay, that was awesome. Uh, duck. Elevator action. Okay. Closing my eyes. X X's. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? I, just, I didn't even have a chance. Am I flying in some kind of cybernetic beehive or something? <laughs> this is a hilarious. What is this? Like a robotic hornet's nest? <laughs> like something out of my dystopian nightmares. God, the music is... Whoa! Crosses! Uh -uh. Yeah, I don't want to continue that one. Spelunker, Squoon, Starlet, Tetris... Thexter Wars Coast Guard Cub Adventure <laughs> Devil Dom Doom Yeah, I'm playing Cub Adventure This must be one of their original games. Anyway, as we can see, this little unit's quite fun, actually. And it's got some interesting games on it, including, I think, some exclusives, because I haven't seen a lot of these before. So anyway, you know, I don't know what they cost. I got his birthday gift, and I don't know what they actually do or what's under the hood on this thing, but it's quite neat. Just gotta be careful with this cable here. Anyways, this is Creeping Net, signing out. See you in the next video.